guys happy Sunday this is a uh, very nice mineral only SPF 50 sunscreen water resistant 40 minutes by Isden this is a span uh, company from Spain they now have some products uh, sold in doctor's offices in the United States they have a small we have a smaller market of it of their products here than what you guys have in Spain but you all asked me about these a fair amount and I was able to get a sample of this so I don't have access to everything that you may have in Spain but this is like I said zinc, zinc only and I believe it's fragrance free uh, but it does have a slight odor of sunscreen to it um, but I really like it uh, just on first impression and uh, they also make a mineral powder similar to the color science one that I have so maybe wanting to try that out but most of what they have in the US market is like cosmeceutical stuff some of which I think has fragrance so yeah I like this though um, but honestly the Neutrogena pure uh, fragrance free liquid I think that's kind of similar maybe slightly heavier cast than this it's pretty good but it's you know not perfect but I think it's pretty good what do you think do you see white on me it's um I'm driving okay. let me you can do it in the put when I get to the parking lot so my mom just you just said that it has a slight pearlescence to it yeah when we were at the traffic light I had a chance yeah. to look at you full face uh -huh. and it's got a pearly look to it but I wouldn't yeah. say that it's like a, a white paste or yeah. anything. So this is going to be one of those sunscreens that you won't be able to walk into a store and buy. It's, you know, quote, medical grade. And really all that means is it's a type of marketing where instead of selling in brick and mortar stores and like online or whatever, they go through authorized distributors. So basically the physician's office or like in the case of dermstore.com, they buy it at wholesale price and then they charge a suggested retail, which is usually like three or four times what the, the actual cost of the item is. And that's how I believe this brand is likely working. They had, they were at the academy meeting in the trade show, but they're pretty new. I mean, I haven't really seen much from them. But yeah, that sunscreen's nice. I bet it's expensive. Um, and I think it has fragrance. I mean, I don't know what the ingredient, the, uh, he, I'm pretty sure it's fragrance free, but I, there's like a smell, to, a little scent to it. Um, so yeah, it's a sunny day. So yeah, that's that's really part of the allure of uh, medical grade skincare is that you know you can't just go into a store and buy it, so it makes it seem more high end or whatever. It really doesn't equate to anything, though. It doesn't mean the ingredients are more effective. It doesn't mean it doesn't equate to anything. But that being said, the sunscreen does look fabulous, fantastic on in natural lighting. Yeah, it looks good, right? Yeah, you've got a nice glow. Yeah, it looks good. Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. How's your coffee? Very good. Yeah, mine's really good, too. Much better than Starbucks we had I yesterday. I doused it liberally with cinnamon, and it's good. Yeah, that makes it good. Okay, you guys. Last night, we watched oh. the best movie on Netflix. In my opinion, it was so good. It was the Ted Bundy movie with... Um, Zach. Lily Collins yeah. and Zach Efron. Oh my gosh, he did so well. He and Haley Joel Osment was in it too. Yeah. And it's amazing how old they've gotten, both of those actors. Yeah. I remember thinking they were just little babies yeah. yesterday. <laughs> it was very well done though. Yeah. Oh, Zach Efron deserves an award for that movie. I the think, acting was so good. At the beginning it said Sundance Film Award yeah. or whatever, and usually those are good. Oh, he did so well. Oh. He made you feel like those girls must have felt in terms of the his charisma. He was that he the Judith. charisma. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, he almost made you be like, sure, you can cut my head off with the rusty saw. <laughs> 
You can hit me with it. He is easy, easy on the eyes. If you're if you're feeling a, a headache going on, coming on, then that might be a pleasant thing to view. But the movie is. The movie was evil, despicable. Yeah, yeah. It had a lot, it has a pretty long name. It's a Ted Bundy movie. Oh, it's good. It's, it was one of the. Netflix is winning me over. Yeah, this is, every Saturday we've scored. Games. Yeah, Netflix is really producing some solids that aren't just their usual poor dialogue and tepid oh, plot. I don't want to give a spoiler, but I wanted to tell a part about the dog. Yeah, if you don't want to hear it, this is a little bit of a spoiler, but they go to a, uh, a dog adoption place to adopt a dog, he and his uh, girlfriend, and when they get up to the gate where the dog was, she fell in love with the dog, and the dog looked at him and kept growling, yeah. and growling, and he was really put off, and then Ted Gay stared at him, at the dog, and the dog cowered. Yeah. It was so creepy. I don't know if... That was true or not, but they say that animals can sense, sense evil. Yeah. Evil. <laughs> well, Tybee was asleep on his little pillow at the, in the, while we were watching the movie, and then as soon as that dog barked, he like got all like, "Help! What's going on?" Yeah, I think it was, must have been an alarming bark and doggy talk. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good movie. I recommend it. Very good. Scary, but good. All right, so I have rice cauliflower in the bottom of my um, bowl, but they did this new artichoke, it's vegan, artichoke, to uh, sorry, artichoke summer salad. It's like artichokes and dried apricots in it and um, herbs. So I got a little bit of that, some edamame. I got a plantain, platano chip um, and some tofu, uh, blackberry, pecan, I kind of did like one little piece of everything. <laughs> Sesame seeds, raisins, and toasted coconut. How about you, what'd you get today? Well, I did the usual falafel. Oh yeah. But um, we got, I like these, they're like green lentil, green yeah. pea. Yes, and good. then some red cabbage. Underneath that is the roasted potatoes. Mm -hmm. And then I did the uh, tofu scramble. Mm, yeah. um, and also I put some black beans in there. Ooh, good. I saw the weirdest thing though somebody had done and it I, it made me livid. Somebody went on the whole food. This looks like something like a child would do they unknowingly. The they took like 10, five, oh I'm exaggerating, four of those falafels. They stacked them up and just set them on the bar. So like obviously nobody can, can eat them and they're just going to go to waste. I, I hate stuff. I hate food waste. I bet they got a bunch of them and then they decided they didn't want to pay, they realized it was way weighted and that would weigh down their thing and they just took them out and stacked them there. So but at bad. least they didn't put them back. Well, yeah, yeah. That was, that, that was good. Was. I just hate because food Because you waste. wouldn't have known that and I may be eating one of them. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, this artichoke dried apricot salad thing has sparrow in it too. That's what that brown rice looking stuff is. I forgot to mention that. What's up? I decided to um, do some laps in our lap pool. I never come out here, but I, I have a rash guard, but I couldn't find it, so I just put on an old running t-shirt and running shorts is my, I mean, I've got an actual bathing suit on underneath this, but just, you know, I don't want to be out in the sun. So yeah, it feels really good. I never come over here, but we have this um, little lap pool 
There's another like regular pool, but it tends to be crowded, but this lap pool is a lot more quiet. It's very tranquil back here, that's why I'm whispering. This thing, the H2O Go. We're over here at Walmart. I um, saw um, um, somewhere that there was a new flow that's like an avocado. Uh -huh. And then the pit is a beach ball that comes out. Oh, that's cool. That's cute, huh? Yeah, look at this unicorn. It's a sprinkler. Oh. <laughs> it shoots out water out of the horn. Six feet tall. My. Yeah, I thought it'd be fun to have a float like this. Here's the... one for three dollars. Probably last three seconds. <laughs> the swan is cute. What about a kiwi slice? That's cute. Yeah. Pomsy. Ty B would go berserk for that. It's like... Oh, it wraps around your wrist. It's kind of weird. I'm out here by the plants. I, I keep wanting to get a plant for my apartment, but I can't decide on one. I don't get a whole lot of direct sunlight. There you are. <laughs> yeah, I got... I got hemmed in by yeah. two large guys trying to decide on a chair. <laughs> I try a tomato plant and then parsley. <laughs> we'll see. Start small. These are going to go out on my little patio. My mom's getting an umbrella tree. <laughs> wow. It's just a little house. They're cute. Are, are those hard to grow? No. And these are partial or moderate sun. So oh. Do you want to get a house plant too? Have Maybe I should get the umbrella. Yeah, I do want a house plant, but right. let me just start with this and see how okay. I do. Yeah. Baby steps. We're looking at the beverage containers well, and there's a new bubba. bubba. I love these bubba. Yeah. This well, I'm, really yeah. Fat. I see I don't like that no. sippy thing, but yeah, these are great. I have some of them and I really enjoy these. $8.94. It's a very good deal. They last. I've had mine, what, two years now? Yeah. And yeah. You, you got me hooked on them too. Yeah. Look, there's a cute little knockoff corksicle. It's good for by the pool. I like these. Too. They're uh -huh. good for me too. shaking. Let's flamingo. Oh, those are festive. What's that neat? Yeah. How do you... What is it? Oh, that's, that'd be good for on the go. Because you could put a straw in there. Mm -hmm. Cold it for might, 24 I don't hours. Know if it would fit though. That's kind of a small opening. Rainex bug remover. This is for cleaning the goo the gunk off of your windshield wiper blades. How much you want to bet whatever is in this is the exact same thing as in the uh, clean at Sephora face washes. You know my favorite little habit is ordering stuff off of iHerb and now that they're, uh, they are synced in with Ebates and I get at least 2.5% cash back, it's like yeah, it just keeps me coming back even more. Um, so I mentioned uh, that I've really been enjoying turmeric and stuff lately, uh, and I got that black pepper from Costco. So I got the Star West Botanicals turmeric root uh, powder. Uh, so I've purchased products from Star West Botanicals in the past and was really pleased with the quality. Then I also got this blue butterfly, blue, blue butterfly, that's a mouthful, blue butterfly pea flower powder. I saw this on some kind of wellness blog or something a while back and was enticed. And then the moment I saw it was going to become available on iHerb, I was like, yes, yes, an excuse to place an order. So I did. Um, and it's uh, got this pretty blue coloration. I purchased from this brand, uh, Wilderness Poets, in the past. I got their dragon fruit uh, powder for smoothies, and it comes out really vibrant. So I'm excited to play around with this blue butterfly coloration, especially with 
uh, summertime coming up and the uh, patriotic holidays and Memorial Day and 4th of July. Sneak in a little blue in there, that'll be fun. I also love this new Naturals Vanilla Syrup. I get this a fair amount, so I repurchased that. It's just a zero calorie liquid sweetener. They have a plain flavor, but they also have vanilla, and the vanilla is really good. They have a chocolate syrup that's quite good as well. If you'll recall from my grocery haul this week, I got those pinto beans. I, um, you know, probably will make some spicy refried bean, my oil-free refried beans, and I wanted to try using some ancho chili powder. So I got the Simply Organic brand. This was on sale. Uh, all the Simply Organic stuff was on sale. And I mentioned the other day that I was kind of in the market for getting into buying tahini, and I asked you guys uh, if you could recommend some brands, and I think one of you recommended this Kavala brand, and I saw they had a black tahini, so I had to go with that. How cool would it be to do a black bean burger and use black tahini in the recipe and black rice? You all have come to appreciate that I am dependent on coffee, but then I cut myself off after a certain time period and rely on decaf. Nescafe's Taster's Choice decaf sticks are better than the Folgers ones. Still haven't tried the Bustelo decaf. I can't find those anywhere. Somebody mentioned the Dollar Tree. I should go to the Dollar Tree and look there, but anyways, I herb you can get the Nescafe Taster's Choice ones. Kroger stopped carrying the decaf sticks, so uh, it's a better deal on iHerb anyway. And this, 10 out of 10 recommend Barleen's Greens. It's pricey, but it is worth it. It's a creamy chocolatey beverage that is vegan and it only has 25 calories and one gram of sugar in the entire thing. I mean, not in the entire thing, in one serving. And it's got like a bunch of ground up uh, stuff that's good for you, but it just tastes like chocolate milk. It's quite good. You can reconstitute it in water or, um, you know, non-dairy milk. I have tried this, and I don't think I've ever shared it with you guys. It's pretty good. Uh, this is the Sparta Nutrition Keto Coffee. This is a uh, keto-friendly, vegan, paleo certified, meets lots of criteria, <laughs> uh, creamer. I don't ever care for creamer in my coffee whatsoever, but this stuff by itself is pretty good. I actually, this sounds bizarre, but uh, it's good. I put a scoop of this in rice cauliflower and mix it up and put a little cinnamon on top of steamed rice cauliflower and it makes like a cauliflower rice pudding. This is a caramel macchiato flavor. I have also had, they have a hazelnut flavor that's pretty good. I've also had that. And it has, it's obviously vegan, it's dairy free. I believe it's just coconut milk with some flavoring in it. It's sweetened with a mixture of stevia and monk fruit. Just 45 calories per serving and four and a half grams of fat. And um, I imagine it's quite low in carbohydrate if you're watching that. Speaking of low in carbohydrate, sugar-free, this is the other chocolate beverage that I like, this Davida Coco Delight. It's quite good. It's just a chocolate, this is cocoa powder and stevia probably mixed together. This comes from Arlington, Texas. It's quite good. Um, two teaspoons is a serving and that is 11 calories. And it has, what's it? yeah, stevia. Oh, it also has some vanilla flavor in it. And then I also got some cumin. I mentioned I needed cumin the other day and I love Frontier Co-op. I reuse these little jars for um, when I buy seasoning in bulk and then I just pull, pour them, wash it and um, reuse it for other herbs and spices. I also got fenugreek. I've never cooked with this. I mean, I'm sure I've consumed it innumerable times in Indian cooking. And I see it frequently called for in a variety of recipes. And I, it's something I never have and I don't always see at the grocery store. So I got that. Frontier Co-op is a great seasoning. Seasonings. Then I got another bag of this uh, Julian Bakery Pro Granola Vanilla Clusters. This is their vegan um, protein granola. I really liked this a lot, enough to repurchase it. It's incredibly filling though. I can't eat an entire serving. It just, it kind of expands in your stomach. It's pea protein and tapioca fiber, and then it's got pumpkin seeds, chia seeds, sesame seeds. I mean, you can imagine the chia and the tapioca fiber that it, it just kind of expands in your stomach pretty quickly and leaves you pretty full. So I can only eat like half a serving and I get quite full off of that. So I, I enjoy it. It's good sprinkled on like a smoothie bowl. 
Then I got another one of the Carolyn Hirons Double Cleanse. Um, I really like this and I used up an entire one. So I went ahead and got another one to have on hand. I'm currently using the Hotelabo Cleansing Oil. Yeah, definitely recommend that. It's like the only pixie thing I care to recommend, like I can recommend because everything in pixies in the pixie line has fragrance in it, um, except that. So yeah, that's everything that I got in my little herb all this week. And now oh, I just saw a little fruit fly joining us. So hopefully he doesn't form a family. Last week I finished up the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Fragrance Free Body Lotion that I reviewed for you guys a while ago. I, in the past, I don't know, couple of months I've been using it as a body moisturizer. It also works phenomenally on the face. It is a good, you know, head to toe kind of moisturize, light moisturizer. Um, and it's nice as a humectant on the face too, underneath a heavier moisturizer to really hydrate up and plump up the skin. It's great. I finished it up um, and over the past week I've been using just on my body the Cetaphil Daily Advanced Lotion Ultra Hydrating. Woo! Love to make those luxurious statements. I got this on iHerb a while ago, actually, and it's nice. It uh, is a good choice for the summertime. I, you know, I'll probably buzz through it in the next few months here. Uh, for the summertime, I like to switch from cream to lotion. I find in the winter, I need cream vehicles, thicker cream vehicles on my body because of the heater. And heater really just wreaks havoc on on your skin. And so in the summertime, I I dance on over to a lotions instead. Um, and I, I love CeraVe's lotions, they're fantastic. This is another choice though. Um, it's pretty affordable and it's fragrance free. It's made of shea butter and macadamia oil. And you can put this on your face. It is uh, non-comedogenic. Um, and you know, honestly, the comedogenic thing, the oil-free thing, it's all just like, loose, loosey-goosey. It's not defined as to what, what, if anything, we can say for sure is going to break someone out or worsen someone's acne. It's all over the place and I, th I feel like we should just stop like thinking that certain claims are going to guarantee that, you know, something's not going to irritate the acne. And truth of the matter, I mean, acne has a mind of its own. It flares, it does its own thing, and you know, it's usually independent of moisturizers. Certain things that are irritating can kick off a flare, that's for sure, but I mean, acne is gonna flare, so it's just hard to say for sure. Uh, in other words, I do believe you could get along well with putting this on your face, but many of you say like shea butter is really a problem for you in your acne, in which case, you know, obviously avoid this. Uh, but, you know, I, I don't have any strong associative data to say that shea butter is problematic for acne. And, you know, Cetaphil, did you know in their their own marketing studies they you know took some people and put this cream on them and they didn't break out right away i mean but what, what does that tell you really nothing so um you know it hasn't caused problems for me on my face uh, i think it's just a good choice it's fragrance free and i like that and uh, it's it's so funny here it says contains epidermal replenishing comment and they've even trademarked that like what the heck epidermal replenishing complex that sounds like something out of bologna's textbook of dermatology that's, that's galderma cetaphil cetaphil's galderma has stolen. Um, really, I mean, what that means is like basically any moisturizer that you use consistently will aid in, in, in uh, replenishing the epidermis. Um, and so, you know, all the studies show, honestly, that just a bland, plain moisturizer, at least in people with eczema, I mean, that's who we study. In people with eczema who use a plain moisturizer, epidermal skin barrier repair kicks off and you know the skin barrier is restored and transepidermal water loss is um, decreased and they have improvement. Um, it doesn't matter if it has fancy ingredients. Even even the inclusion of things like ceramides which can help, uh, they're not necessarily better. I mean honestly there have been several studies showing that cheap moisturizer that is, so long as it's fragrance free and doesn't contain like um, I don't know, menthol in it, those kinds of things can irritate people with eczema. So like it's fragrance free, just consistent use of a moisturizer, it really doesn't matter which one, 
will help the skin barrier in skin barrier repair. So like, I mean, all of everything else is just dancing around marketing gimmicks and, and claims. And you know, here, this trademark, epidermal replenishing complex. I mean, truth of the matter is, like you go to the Dollar Tree and find epidermal replenishing complex. Uh, so long as it's fragrance free. I believe Dollar Tree has a fragrance free body moisturizer that is aimed towards diabetics, but I mean, that will replenish the complex. <laughs> like. Yeah, uh, this at the end of the day is a useful, fragrance free, no nonsense basic moisturizer. But it's just like ignoring all of these little, like trademarking that. What are the five key ingredients? Water, <laughs> glycerin, sh I mean, like, really? Honestly. Anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the vlogs this weekend. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.